All right, so let's get started with this and I'm gonna be using my AP again and this is the same pencil I used for the last one. I haven't even sharpened it, uh, which is okay because you know, we can always get a sharp point as we're shading. Uh, things will flatten out. So I'm just gonna start with this and hopefully it'll turn out okay. So let's see. I'm just gonna measure. Let's say I'm gonna draw her head. This is gonna be the top of her forehead. And let's see, this is gonna be the bottom of her chin. So I'm just gonna start with that and then I'm gonna try to fill in the uh, the shape here just to get like the overall proportion. So when you're sketching this way, um, it kind of helps to get the right size so that you know everything can fit on your on your piece of paper. So let's say that's the center line here and let's see from the middle of her face, if I look at this, the middle is kind of right here and then her eyes are going to be right around here. I mean I'm just trying to find some reference points that I can draw from. So her eyes would be right around here, so the nose come out. Eyes, let's see, corner of the eye, on the very edge, if you draw a straight line, her nose kind of come out and kind of meet up to there. Okay, so corner of the eye right here, if I go straight down. So I'm just trying to do some measurements and I noticed that, um, actually I find these kind of three quarter views a little bit harder to draw than it, if it was like a full on, you know, front of you. And I think the reason is, you know, even though you're not drawing as much, because we're seeing a three quarter view, um, it just gives you kind of like if you get something wrong, it really becomes wrong. There's nothing to make up for it. Um, whereas the front of view, you know, just things are a little bit off. Sometimes it looks still looks okay. All right, let's see. Here's the eye coming down. Yeah, so it's definitely harder. I mean, at least I find it a little bit harder to draw three quarter views. Okay, let's see the eye and let's go down. Let's just erase that so I don't get too confused. Her nose, her cheek kind of comes out past the nose, come down right here. She's got that smile. Here's the middle. Coming out her lip. See her nose right around here. And then we go out. So let's see from the eye. We go straight down from here. Hope you guys can see this. I know I'm sketching really light here. So that's gonna be the corner of the mouth. I just got that little, very unique smile. Comes out, cheekbone here. And then this is almost straight down. Comes around here. Okay, how's that? Okay, let's refine the eye a little bit. Very important shape. Turn in their hair. There's a cheekbone here. Hair, hair. It's gonna block in some of the hair on the top. And your earrings right around here, not too important, so all right. Her neckline right here, right on the corner. If you go straight up, it starts right here. And then this is all here. All right, so let's uh, do some shading. And I, it looks a little bit off. Looks like I should go over a little bit more, but well, let's just go for it. Um, I don't want to spend too much time. Okay, so right here, let's start off with the eyeball. Just shade that in first. Here. Just gotta start somewhere. Okay, she's got a lot of makeup on, which is it's good and bad. Um, 
I mean, it definitely brings out the features, but then sometimes it's like so made up. You know, you lose some of the, a lot of shading on what a face would actually looks like. So this is dark right here. Just trying to corner, dark. The nose right here is pretty blown out. There's not much uh, shading going on here. So let's see the eyebrow. Dark. Upper lid right here. Yeah, see, it's so dark in the eye right here. I don't see any highlight. I'm just going to add a little bit of highlight in there just so that it doesn't look so dead. Okay, sinks in here, so that's why this is dark. And over here, darker here, and this is white. Let's fill in some of the eyebrows again. This part slightly darker because it comes in. This part is light. Right here, there's a white patch right here. Dark underneath the eyes, darker. Yeah, I think the face is off. I need to put in part of the mouth needs to go in. I I think I mean, it's kind of hard to uh, hard to be sure. Okay, let's come in. Sure nose. So dark here, and I'm gonna add a little bit, kind of like a slightly darker right here, because just just to put in some of the uh, reflective light right here. Right here, dark. The highlights right here and here. And then right underneath the nose, this is the the shadow. So this one's very dark. So I'm going to exaggerate this lighting right here just so we can get more of the bounce light on the bottom and it will bring out the nose a little bit more. And the nostrils dark. Okay. That one's okay. I can feel, I can feel the, the shape of the nose, which is good. That means we're doing it right. Okay. All right, so let's come down. And the lip right here, yeah, very tricky shape. Um, so that's dark right here, and then here, a little V shape. Let's just go in there and outline it some more. This one goes up. Okay, so let's make it darker. So this part's dark. Right here's darker as well. Okay, right there. So I'm just pushing in real hard. This part's right here, in, right in the center is a little bit lighter. All along the edge right here is dark. Give this one shade and then right on the edge right here, it's a little bit darker. Okay, it's very subtle, but if you put in those shading, it really helps to bring out the lip shape. Okay, so even darker back here. It's okay, lower lip right here. Here's the highlight, so I'm going to try to leave that. I'm just going to shade on the bottom. And this part right here is sharp, so that's why it's really dark right here, because there's a very uh, hot highlight right there. So slightly darker right here. Okay, and then underneath the lip, it's even darker, right here. Okay, 
Okay, so let's see the chin. Yeah, so I'm refining the chin. Good thing. I think I was came out way too much. Now it looks a little bit better. Okay, let's see. Come up. Do some shading, some light shading right here on the chin. And this part's gonna be darker. Right here, it's darker. Let's see. Let's draw in the little dimple here. And just a little bit more shading in here. Darker here. And then right underneath the, the cheek right here, there's a really hot highlight right here. So if I make this part a little bit darker, it's going to make this a little bit wider. And obviously she has makeup right there, that's why. So this part right here is kind of exaggerated. Yeah, that's the good thing and bad thing about the makeup. It kind of, you know, the shape really isn't there, right? They're just kind of painting it in. Okay. All right, so now that this the lip is okay in terms of darkness, uh, now everything on the top looks a little bit, a little bit too, uh, too light. So let's move back up. Okay, here's the nose. I keep seeing these little things and it's drawing me to, pulling me to say, fix it, fix it. Okay, so let's get the eyes a little bit darker, so a little bit more balance to this drawing. Real dark. Turning my pencil, get a harder edge and just kind of push right into it, just like that. Here again, a lot of makeup on this. Really dark eyebrows. All right, let's draw the other eye. So let's come back. We started with this, and now we're back. It's a little bit of highlight here. dark right here so I'm just I'm trying to see like just little patches of things and once I see it I'll go okay that's dark right there right or let's see the eyebrows dark right here so I'm just gonna draw that in and this part right here is very dark so I'm just trying to see and if you see it just go ahead and, and hit it you know don't don't be too hesitant so I'm hitting this harder right here darker okay a little smudge right here from my hand because it's all dirty on the back, <laughs> right? So that's what happens when you're working with an 8B. Okay, I'll try to keep my uh, wrist off the paper. Okay, let me see. I'm taking a look at it. Looks okay. I think the eye is a little bit off. I think her eyes right here is a little bit lower and darker. Okay, if I think it's too late for that, we can't really fix that. Yes, I make this part a little bit darker here. All right, so let's see. Let's let's bring out some of this shape uh, right here. I can make. I don't know if I want to draw our hair too dark. This right here is pretty dark. Um, or I can try to do a little bit more stylized instead of having a really, you know, black shape right here, which it would be kind of boring. Let's just try to shade in her hair. Maybe make it a little bit lighter. Does she have pretty much like black hair? So if we try to draw that, um, might be a little bit too dark. Maybe in certain areas right here, I can make it a little bit darker. Just to bring out the shape, chin right here. So here it goes out. So here's a strand, I can do something like that as if it's flowing. And 
nice little if we just flick it like this uh, it give you a nice little taper so let's say I have a strand let's see right here one big strand if I just go like this I go this way now give me a nice little taper right here um, for the highlight let's make that dark a little bit of shading here Here, this is important, this flow right here, so that we can see the hair flowing out. So right here is dark. Let's just make that dark. Okay, so the hair coming through. You can do that little flick. Right here's a big strand. You can you can draw like that first, just Kind of outline it and then we'll worry about the highlight so again we'll flick it so now we have a little bit of highlight here i know it's exaggerated but you know you kind of have to do that it is a drawing so remember it doesn't have to be exact as long as it looks like hair kind of flows in the same direction you know as her hair then it's good Okay, so here coming down, and let's see, let's this thing curls in. Okay, so this part's dark here. So again, I can do that again. Okay, a little bit of highlight right here, and then this is gonna flow back. So here's a big chunk, and this is gonna be underneath, so I'm gonna make this a little bit darker. So it makes it look like it's flowing, like different layers. It's gonna come down here, and here's the earring, and let's just simplify the earring. I'm just gonna draw like a little circle. So let's change that so that you know we don't have to draw in all that crazy little whatever it is in there. Okay. There's the neckline. So right now I'm just kind of going over and just trying to balance things out. So let's bring this out a little bit more. Okay, dark. Okay, let's not. I'll stop there because I don't want to draw too much of the neckline here. It's not much going on, so the hair. Okay, let's let's go back up here. Uh, just put a little bit more shading in here. Looks a little bit too white underneath. Yeah, a lot of hair on this one. <laughs> okay, I didn't expect it to be drawing so much of this hair. All right, so let's finish it up like that. I don't want to draw too much of this. Okay, I'm, I might draw more, uh, but let me let me check out the face a little bit more. See if I can fix certain things. So let's see, I think the eye, eyebrow comes across a little bit more. Kind of have it going up. Yeah, this whole eye needs to come down. Because um, right now it's kind of at a wrong angle. So I think that's the biggest error. And I don't know if I can fix that. Maybe I can dab some of it out. Make it a little bit bigger. Drop this down. Or maybe I made it worse, but you know, that's how it goes. Don't worry about it. Bring that out a little bit more. Cross. Okay, let's accentuate some of the areas right here. Dark here, dark here. 
underneath right here a little bit darker make your eyes a little bit bigger as well All right, I gotta fix that eye. This thing is bugging me, okay? Looks like it's wrong direction. Come across. And that happens when you're sketching from a different angle, so, so I can't put my head over it. Sometimes you'll miss certain things. You see, you see things at a slant. Okay, so I think, yeah, that's about it. Um, I may just come back to it later. That way I can see it with a fresh eye and then if I see any errors I might fix it or I would just kind of leave it like this and call it done. Um, either way, hope you guys enjoyed this drawing and you know hopefully you guys can learn from this and learn from my mistakes. <laughs> All right and uh, we'll see. Yeah, let me know what you guys want to see uh, me draw next. Just comment you know uh, in the comments below. So, All right, hope you guys like this and I will see you next time.